Actor, comedian, Norm MacDonald, the pride of Quebec. Host of the podcast, Norm MacDonald Live. You'll see him in uh, Austin, Texas. That'll be coming up uh, in June. And uh, Aspen, Colorado. The belly up in Aspen, Colorado on uh, July 5th and 6th. Big sports fan, Norm MacDonald, back on the show. And you do a lot of tweeting, Norm. You watch a lot of sports. Yeah, yeah, I love sports, man. Hey, Dan, I, yeah. I heard you old boys talking about Bob Dylan. Yeah. And I thought I'd, I thought I'd share a tale about him with you. Okay. Um, I went to see him at uh, here in Los Angeles with because uh, uh, Merle Haggard was opening for him, you know. Mm-hmm. And I'm just an old chunk of coal, and uh, I like Merle, so I, I was there for Merle, but uh, I stayed for for Bob Dylan, and uh, he, he was kind of a. It was like you were saying he, you couldn't understand what songs he was singing, and. Uh, but anyways, halfway through the concert, all of a sudden, because he doesn't talk to the audience or something, all of a sudden he started talking to the audience. And he, he said, he said uh, Ringo, 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 <laughs> Ringo, ha, ah, Ringo, about 45 times. <laughs> so uh, everyone was sort of in shock. And uh, finally a, a light went into the audience, and it was Ringo Starr was sitting there. <laughs> With some lady, and then he was, he's all uncomfortable. He's like, Ringo! So he said it about 12 more times. Did you meet him? <laughs> Bob Dylan? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I met him. What happened was, I was, I was going to finish my Ringo story. Oh, I'm sorry, Norm. That. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ringo! Ringo! <laughs> so anyways, he said, Ringo! Like a whole bunch of times, and then he said, uh, he said, uh, any, any, any songs you want to hear, Ringo? And then Ringo Starr said, I, I don't know, uh, um, uh, um, do you know any Bob Dylan songs? Do I? For this story? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, name one. Uh, Tangled Up in Blue. Yeah, so he said that. Ringo goes, well, how about Tangled Up in Blue? He goes, I already did that one. <laughs> <laughs> he just didn't understand that he was doing yeah, Tangled I mean, Up in Blue. No one understood anything. <laughs> but um, Yeah, I did, I did meet him, but I don't know him because right, I'm, I'm in the country. I'm in the outlaw country. So, so I was there for Merle. Yeah, I like Merle. You like Merle? Yeah. Yeah, I like Waylon. Oh, God, you like all the guys I like. Uh, my best friend, Billy Joe Shavery, wrote Hockey Tonk Heroes for yeah. all those boys. And, uh, you know, Waylon, Willie. Uh, and the boys. And all those boys. You know, there's some new guys on the horizon. There's Hank the Third, but, uh, but most of this country has turned into stuff Michael Sam would listen to. Well, <laughs> careful here. What? <laughs> No, I, I mean, I I enjoy seeing a guy kissing another guy, you know, as much as the next feller. But uh, I'm just glad he'd, he wasn't picked in the first round. <laughs> You're not sure what would happen? Well, it may, it may have been full-on insertion. <laughs> He's, uh, Norm MacDonald, I think, still with us, the actor, comedian. <laughs> Yeah, I'm here, man. <laughs> you, you, you do a great job of always making me uncomfortable. When you hosted the ESPYs that one time? Oh, you were there. I remember that. Oh, my God. I... Like I was, and I, you were, you had jokes, but they weren't directed at me. I was uncomfortable, <laughs> and they weren't even directed at me. Yeah, I didn't even. I have this thing where I don't even know when I, I do bad. <laughs> but uh, that happens to me a lot. I come off. I go, "Hey, that went pretty well, right?" They're like, well, "Everyone left." I'm like, "Oh." But when you go to these places, the belly up in Aspen, Colorado. Oh yeah, the belly up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What are you What are you working on when you do? Is there always because comedians always say, "Oh, well, I'm going in and working on material," or are you just rehashing material? Well, uh, I don't do uh, uh, a comedy on. Uh, I don't televise my comedy, so I've only done like one special. I did a special a couple of years ago. I did about an, uh, an hour special, but uh, I have like so much material. I have nine nine or ten hours of material. So what I do now is I just talk to the to a crowd the entire time. And anything they bring up, I have a, I have material on. Oh, so you leave it up to them? Yeah, I just have a discussion with them. Oh, look at you! Yeah, look, it's like you. You, know, you have a discussion with yes. your uh, my Danettes, your, with yeah. your listeners, your your Danettes. What do you call them? The Danettes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> are you up for this Craig Ferguson job to take over for him, or are you the one starting the rumor that you're up for Craig Ferguson's job? Oh, neither. Well, so you're not up for it. No, I'm not up for it. Oh, and okay. Nor, nor have I started anything. 
what happened was I, I, I just, uh, you know, I, I tweet and then I talk to my, my followers, you know. <laughs> I mean, I don't, want, I don't want to sound like the pale Nazarene, but I have a lot of followers. How many followers do you have? Oh, good God, it must be into the hundreds of thousands. Really? Yeah, but... <laughs> the most famous but follower many, you have. Many of here. them don't care for me. <laughs> You're following them. Yeah. Who's the no, most? Like, uh, you go like, uh, hey guys, what's going on today? And then, and then they're like, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know, what I, no, I, I started t- tweeting sports, and then that'll bleed followers. You know, that'll bleed <laughs> followers. But you're doing live, live, uh, uh, live golf play by play, Norm. That's... Yeah, I do. I do live any live sport. But uh, I like live golf the best because, you know, golf is the greatest sport of all. Man versus man, man versus himself, <laughs> man versus nature. You know what I mean, Dan? Yeah, I do. Yeah. You know, since you told the Dylan story, and it was okay, <laughs> uh, can you salvage this by telling the Bill Cosby story? <laughs> oh, one time I met, uh, I met the great Waylon Jennings. Yeah? Yeah, so... Uh, <laughs> So, you know, some stupid publicist lady, uh, I'm like, oh, my God, I would love to I just talk to Waylon Jennings for a moment because I had a great story about him. Because when I, was, when I was young, my dad would play Waylon Jennings for me, and it was kind of important to me. So I wanted to tell Waylon Jennings the story. So this publicist lady goes, I'm sure he'd, he'd love to meet you, too. I'm like, no, no, he doesn't know who I am. Like, he, he, she's like, yeah, I bet he does. I'm like, no, he doesn't. I'm like, so I'm like, petrified that she's going to wreck it and then uh sure enough i'm i'm standing in the in the back you know looking as he finishes his set uh, and uh um, he, he comes out and you see this lady talking to him and he's like why he's like huh <laughs> he's like talking to him in his ear he's like oh, why? what and i'm like oh my god like obviously she's telling him my biography you know so uh he comes off the stage and i have this big thing i'm about i have you know memorized to say to him this big touching story about me and my dad and i'm like oh. i so i go it's a pleasure to meet you uh, mr jennings and he goes it's a pleasure to meet you i've enjoyed you on late night television and also in the situation comedy <laughs> <laughs> do they write off your imdb yeah <laughs> wrecked everything. all, all right lady. tell the bill cosby story oh uh, bill cosby you know i met bill cosby as my hero and stuff so uh <laughs> so I was opening for him, and uh, I, I tried to make this short, but uh, okay. I was opening for him, and uh, he said, uh, I said, you know, w- when I was young, uh, you know, my you were my favorite comic, and I listened to you with my dad. You know, he goes, where do you live? <laughs> I go, uh, what? And I go, uh, well, my dad lives in, in Ottawa, you know, he goes... He goes, I think I'm going to Ottawa. He had a guy with him. He goes, Herb, when am I Ottawa? And uh, so Herb goes, yes, he understands everything Cosby says, you know, <laughs> even though Cosby just uses nouns at this point. <laughs> and uh, so he says, yes, we're in Ottawa in, uh, in August. And he goes, man, it's Father Ottawa. <laughs> and he goes, yeah, <laughs> yes, definitely. We'll get him back to you know stage. Yes, Mr. Cosby. He says, yes, we will take him to the stage and to the back, and the man will have, and we will give him a man's father. And so he's writing it down, you know. And then he says, the man has to become the phone number for the man. So he, then he gives me a piece of paper, you know, to write down my dad's phone number. Yeah. And uh, then he said, he says, the man needs pen with paper <laughs> with pen. So then the guy gets a pen. So uh, then, uh, and then at that point, I remember my dad has been dead for 15 years. <laughs> so uh, I didn't want to tell him. I didn't want to say, oh, yeah, my dad's dead, and then ruin the fun moment. So I just wrote down, like, I knew the Ottawa photo, you know, the area code, and then I wrote down uh, seven random digits. <laughs> So Bill Cosby, what the will have the man and all this. So I go, thank you, and we leave. And um, <laughs> uh, 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 six months later, I was uh, doing this little guest shot of the Drew Carey show, and I get a phone call, and and it also shows you how powerful these guys are that they can somehow find you. Yeah. But the the stage manager runs up, goes, Bill Cosby's on the phone. I go, what? So I go over, I go, hello. He goes, yes, the man is not at the phone. 
And they go, oh, uh, what? He goes, the man, I phoned, and the man, and your father was not the man, was the father. And I go, oh, yeah, no, that's the number, that's the number. <laughs> I just gotta continue lying. <laughs> anyway. So you're staying with him. He was very, very sweet. Oh, the man, he probably still thinks your dad's alive. <laughs> yeah, he's probably still trying to contact <sighs> him. Uh, before I let you go, did you date Julia Roberts? Um, uh, listen, Dan, you know, a fella uh, doesn't, uh, <laughs> no, I, d- dating doesn't, you know, tell me anything other than you, maybe you went out and had dinner. Did you date <laughs> Julia Roberts? Um, uh, I, um, uh, I've met her. Have you kissed her? Oh God, man. What, what kind of fil? what kind of, <laughs> what kind of filth is this? <laughs> Wait, look what you said earlier in this interview. And I'm filth. Cause I said, did you make out with Julia Roberts? Oh, Oh my God! Now I see how you <laughs> you keep pushing it up. You keep uh, wanting more. I'll take that as a yes. Nah, listen, she's a sweet lady. Did you love her? Uh, what? Did you love her? <laughs> <laughs> are you, you are you pretty soon you're going to be asking me if I lie, <laughs> lay down with her? Good Lord! Did you love her? <laughs> oh my God! You you know you you know you remind me of <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, you remind me of. A, <laughs> a young, uh, I don't know, a young Ring Lardner. Ring Lardner. Oh, that's playing to my demo here. Come on, now. <laughs> you remind me of a young W.C. <laughs> Hines. Uh, hey, good luck with uh, trying to uh, replace Craig Ferguson there. I'm not trying nothing, buddy. Okay. All right. Listen, if, 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 Grassroots. I, if nominated, I will <laughs> not will serve. serve. Oh, you're turning down the job. If no, what is it? Was it? If nominated, I will not run. If elected, I will not serve. Who said that? Uh, Ring Lardner. Hey, remember when we played golf at Shadow Creek with uh, with Cato Kalin? <laughs> yeah, that's where I met you, man. I, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do that again. I'd like to play golf with you again. Oh man, that'd be great. Me and you and Shadow Creek with the and all. You know what? I'll, I'll have Bill Cosby call you, and we'll set this up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you having Sandler on the show? Yep, tomorrow. Oh man, that's great. That's a, I think you'll be you'll be the first. Oh no, it was me. I had him on yesterday. Norm. What? Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, pal. Norm McDonald.